I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear. Welcome to the week of review for a week of April the 4th. Enjoy this video. You miss the nice, nice sky and full stars of where I grew up. And on our way back home, we drove through some snow. We got kind of rain and snow mix, and it's kind of nice to see in April. When we got home, the chickens and the bunnies were so happy to see us. It was so great. Hi, ladies. Oh my gosh, did you miss me? <laughs> did you miss me? Yeah? All right. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're coming out? Hi. I know. It's bedtime, isn't it? Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. All right. I got to feed the bunnies. Okay? You guys need to go to bed. You do? You need to go to bed. You do? Hello. Hello. I'll say a good hello to you in the morning, okay? You guys got to go to bed. Hi. Hi, ladies. Hello. Yes. There you go. There you go, ladies. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go feed the other guys. I'll be back. Hi, honey. Hello. Oh, you have plenty of food. You do. All right. I'll be back. What oh, you need more attention? You need more attention? Well, come here. Come here. You need more attention? Yeah? Poor girls have been went out for a while. Yeah? How you doing? How you doing? I know. It's bedtime. Go to bed. Good night. Good night, ladies. Hi, ZD girl. Hi. I'll come back once you've eaten a little. How is everybody? How is everybody? All right. You looking good? Yeah? All right. So we were gone for a week and the front yard absolutely exploded in flowers. Look at all these flowers. All of those ones are borage. Look at all that. Our flax is still going strong. On the other side. The saffron is dying back. And the, the yarrow is really picking up. And look at this. So I'll put a card up in the corner for, um, for a video on this plant, but this is our native milkweed that I planted. So these are the old, the old stems, and this is what it does. It grows from the bottom each year. And you guys recognize some kale in there, some tree, or tree collard, I mean. And, this lovely, lovely, lovely hot lip sage doesn't have the hot lips yet. That changes with weather. Um, our tulips are mostly done, so these guys actually never flowered. Um, some of them over here did. And look at this. I'm cut this. Time to cut the, these back, because this is lemon balm. I'm going to be starting, since all these things are starting, I'm going to be starting a playlist for teas. So that's going to be one of the ones we'll talk about later. Some African daisies. Not edible. And this is hot and spicy oregano. And it is time to harvest that. Awesome. 
And this is a, a rose that has decided to be on, on my side of the fence now. <laughs> Look at that. I need to put it up against the fence. We have some cherries still blooming. This is our Stella cherry. But for the most part, we came back from our vacation to lots and lots of baby fruit on these trees. So there's more cherries there. More cherries here. So we're gonna have cherries. We're gonna have lots of cherries. So going to have apricots and plums. Everything is has little babies on it. More plums. It looks like this one even has a plum. Uh, the Anna apple is in bloom and the love is coming up. It's so exciting. Now we did get a hot spell this week. It was 95 degrees on Wednesday and 92 on Thursday. So the bunnies have automatic fans, um, solar powered fans, and they also got ice bottles. Mr. Parmesan, you seem to be the only one cuddling up to your ice water bottle. Hope it's helping. Well, that's one way to deal with the heat. Dig way down. Huh. You have the right idea, girl. Cooling off. I know. It's not supposed to be 95 on April, whatever it is. It's the first week in April. It's 95 degrees. Animals are warm. Everything is doing well. Look at this grape. This is a blueberry grape, and we're going to have little tiny grape flowers pretty soon try to get that in the sunlight oh there's some in the sun so we'll have hopefully lots of grapes Ooh, we have a cicada i haven't seen a cicada in a couple years hi cicada cool and we're just now starting to get the um comfrey was it never really died back but it got less productive and it's starting to produce a lot now we have another one over here and another one over here and this little guy i noticed last year and i think i'm going to dig it up and move it um i think it was a root you know popped up from the root there's another grape So this is our dev desert gold peach. It's the first peach that uh, that fruits every year, and there's quite a few fruits on it. So I should be thinning that out pretty soon. Actually, I should probably do it <laughs> probably do it in the next couple days. Compare that to. This, which is our easy pick nectar peach, and they are very small, so we're gonna have some time in between our peaches, which is planned. And so, this looks like it's gonna be about the same timing as the desert gold. I'm gonna guess it's gonna come on a little bit after. This is our bonita peach. I haven't planted anything yet in here. I was going to do tomatoes and it was freezing and then it got to 95 and I think I'm just, will do it soon. Oh, look, look, look at this guys. <laughs> look at that. You guys see that? That's a tomato. Tomato. Awesome. It planted itself. Is any more? Well, there's a chard that planted itself right there, and there's a berry which I need to pull out. But berry planted itself. No tomatillos yet. So, this mass of K 
cane berries are all, you know, blackberry relatives. Um, I'm kind of letting it just go. I probably shouldn't. They all have thorns over here, but, but look at that. I can't pull that out. That's fruit. So they're all flowering, which means we're going to have a really, really good harvest. Got a little pollinator on there. So like I said, here's the thorns. And uh, I did not plant any with thorns. I think I'm going to do a video on, on the blackberries at some point here shortly. But look at this. Look at this citrus. The citrus is all in flower. Especially this one, which this is the Valencia that I didn't like, and that is the rootstock. So I want to try what the what the fruit is in that um, before we decide to pull it out. And we still have we still have plenty of citrus on the trees. And here's the Travoya. Um, and it has it has good good stuff going. Oh, there's not our cat stretching. Hi, not our cat. This seems to be his his place recently. Hi, sweetheart. It's nice and shady. You like it? <laughs> He's underneath a chair in the shade. Sweet boy. Our asparagus <laughs> is flowering. Yep, those are asparagus flowers. But no real spears came up this year. And last year it was the same. I think we just had weird weather that didn't promote that. Time to harvest all of that hot mess. It's all spearmint. We'll do spearmint videos here soon. Figs are doing well. A bunch of spent flowers. I don't know if it got scorched by the heat too soon. It might have. Don't know if we'll have apples from this tree or not. ZD's doing good. Here's that solar fan. ZD, you are looking a little wide. Hi, honey. Hello. Hi, sweet girl. You staying cool. Luckily, that heat is done for a while. We, we are supposed to get rain tomorrow. Which is the day that you guys will be watching this. Hi, honey. Good girl. Are you talking to us? Hi. Yeah? <laughs> Salary update. And I did not move these. I have a few figs and um, emerald berries that I had put in here, so I guess they're going to be in here another year. <laughs> I didn't move them when they didn't have leaves. Marjoram. Time to harvest that too. Hi birdies. How you doing? So we did lose a couple birds. Um, not sure what happened, but it's been uh, almost a week since the second one. And so I think everybody's okay. We do have some old ones in here, so they may have just been old. You're trying to sleep while everybody else is out here, huh? Yeah. So I do have this plant in here and it was flowering. I showed you guys those flowers and so it will be fruiting, which will be pretty cool. I wasn't sure how it was going to do with the tarp um, roof on there, but it looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, I do want to shorten this so I, you know, it can see out some and to get a little bit more light, but they do get a little swatch of sunlight over there. Um, but I am, I wasn't planning on keeping this on over the summer, but I think I am because of the avian influenza. Hello. Hello, mister. You too? 
So I think they might be molting because they're looking a little beat up. Um, we had some older girls that went through their molt and <laughs> didn't quite get all their feathers back a while ago. They're doing okay. But it's funny because they these guys hi we hear you these guys uh, you can see there's a there's a line right there yes hello mister there's a line right here of where they jump to get the leaves it's pretty funny to see them do that because um, they do eat the leaves off of this current I have to fix this feeder. We did find a solution that works for the other aviary, so this is going to be adjusted. Um, but I want them to eat all of this that they got out first, which they're almost done with. They got out so much. So when, when I leave the food on the ground like that, they have more of a digging behavior, like this little girl right here. Um, And they're a little more active now because of the light. Even though they have they have this rope light, and I still haven't turned off, but they have this rope light in here. Um, but the sunlight definitely gives them a little more, a little extra vigor. Happy birds. Now when we were away, we did get some rain, and so we do have some mushrooms come up. This one is dying back. Uh, this one right here has already died back. And we had more over here, but it looks like they're gone. So this right here, oh, it's about to bloom. But this is watercress, and it just grows in the pond. And I use it from time to time. And it's pretty spicy and yummy. We're gonna be hopefully out of the freezing now. So these um, water hyacinth will be coming back. Um, they don't die back completely because we do have a cover on here that shade, shades them from the, the frost and kind of gets a better temperature going for them. But we do have some goldfish in here. I did see one the other day. Um, looks like duckweed has taken over so we can feed those to the animals. And this is the picture you guys have been following um, on each of these videos. I've taken pictures of the tulips and the and the verbena coming through, but the tulips are all gone. Here's here's where the tulip used to be, and the verbena is still going strong. But look at this. This is going to be flower stock for the aloe. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, this one has one too. I didn't see this. This one has one right there. So those will be nice and pretty. Takes them a while to grow, but they when they grow, they they burst into color. And we have some violets. So this I don't know if we can see that. That's violets, and violets is also a medicinal plant, um, the leaf and the flower. And we have quail eggs in the incubator. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.